Africa. And also on the 18th, we have a very important seminar throughout the day. Our dear Imam will be conducting the seminar from 11 a.m. in the morning until Asr time on the 18th, Saturday. So please mark your calendar. The topic will be learning to forgive. So with that, inshallah, I will conclude the announcement. And we'll give it to Imam Mukhtar, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wa alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Tomorrow is Jumu'ah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather our hearts. Allahumma jama'a qulubana alayka ala mahabbatika wa ta'atika ya rabbal alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in what we recited said subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, about uh, life after death. And there are those who reject the concept of life after death. And they say, أَصَاطِرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ وَمَا يُكَذِّبُ بِهِ إِلَّا كُلُّ مُعْتَدٍ أَثِيمٍ إِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا قَالَ أَصَاطِرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ Those who truly belie that reality of the hereafter are transgressors. When our signs are rehearsed to them, they say these are the tales of the ancients. And that happens, oh, these are medieval talk, this is medieval talk, this is gather. Asatiru al Allah says, on the contrary, kalla balrana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun. And Allah tells us about a very profound, deep, spiritual, psychological explanation of that behavior and that attitude. And that is that internal, in their internal reality, I don't know in the, in the secular subjective science of psychology which level of the psyche it is. So Allah says, at that level of the qalb, their qulub are covered by arran. Arran, a cover called arran. It covers not the physical heart, but that spiritual, psychological reality of the human being. It veils that source of consciousness and of awareness. It is completely blocked and veiled. What does that? The style of lives that those human beings have elected and chosen to have, and therefore of wickedness, of rebelliousness, of transgression, of oppression, of immorality, of lies, of hurt, and so on. All of that is what constituted, what formed that layer of the qalb in the spiritual, psychological sense. بَلْ رَانَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ كَلَّا إِنَّهُمْ عَنْ رَبِّهِمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ لَمْحِجُوبُونَ And then... When that happens, subhanAllah, they will be veiled from their Lord. Not only on the day of resurrection, such human beings will never, will never ever know the beauty of the divine and will never behold it. The delight, they will never, never have access to it. مَحْجُبُونَ عَنِ اللَّهِ عَنْ جَمَالِ اللَّهِ The paradisial divine reward for those who believed in Allah, they will be mahjubun an. They will be veiled from that. Not only that, but in this dunya, when that run occurs, the individual becomes mahjub from Allah, becomes veiled from Allah. He or she does not know the sweetness of the love of Allah. He or she does not know the sweetness of obedience and the sweetness of morality and the sweetness of divine knowledge and the sweetness of angelic realities, that person will be completely oblivious to that. Mahjubun an. Like somebody will say, you're intellectually veiled. You don't know. Some of us are intell- spiritually veiled. And that spiritual veil disconnects us from Allah. Billah. Rasulullah says, in one authentic hadith related by Imam Ahmed and Tirmidhi and many others, rahimahumullah ta'ala, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إن العبد إذا أخطأ خطيئة نكت في قلبه نكتة سوداء. 
<coughs> excuse me, further this part, that when the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commits a dhamb, a sin, then into the heart of that person there shall be a dark spot generated. And it's not the physical heart. It's that spiritual heart that has something to do, yes, with this physical heart in ways we do not comprehend yet. نُكِتَ فِي قَلْبِهِ نُكْتَةٌ سَوْدَى No doctor will see that. No physical doctor will see that. نُكِتَ فِي قَلْبِهِ نُكْتَةٌ سَوْدَى Every time we commit a sin. Any sin. External or internal, major or minor. And depending on the nature of that sin, so it will be the magnitude of that nukta, of that dark, وَالْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ spot. And he continues to say, صلى الله عليه وسلم, فَإِن نَزَعَ And there's still rahma from Allah. فَإِن نَزَعَ وَاسْتَغْفَرَ وَتَاب نَزَعَ وَاسْتَغْفَرَ وَتَاب سُقِلَ قَلْبُ However, by the rahma of Allah, if the individual stops what they were doing, once they realize that, they feel terrible remorse, and therefore they ask Allah for forgiveness, we remember we spoke about what is istighfar to cover the consequences of the dhunub, not to expose us. And taba, and the individual comes back with his heart. We spoke of tawba, is coming back with our heart towards Allah Azza wa Then if that happens inside of me, that remorse and that return to Allah and that feeling of down, and of sorrow and grief and, and, and regret, then by the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal, suqila qalbu, the heart of that person will be cleansed from that dark spot. Wa in aada zida fiha, hatta yalu ala qalbi. However, if the individual does not do that and continues again to sin and continues with that, then that dark spot will be magnified. It will become larger and larger and larger. حَتَّى يَعْلُوا عَلَىٰ قَلْبِهِ Until it controls his heart. And when that happens, says Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, فَذَاكَ هُوَ الرَّانِ الَّذِي ذَكَرَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ That is the ran that Allah mentioned in the Quran when he said, كَلَّا بَلْ رَانَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ كَلَّا إِنَّهُمْ عَرَّبِّهِمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ لَمَحْجُوبُونَ Sin, my dear sisters and brothers, has consequences always. And these are some of the consequences that Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us of consequences in our lives. And when there is a run on our qulub, and when it controls our hearts, then we do terrible things and we don't think we did anything wrong. Part of the consequences, the practical consequences of a run is I am doing horrible things in, towards the creatures of Allah Azza wa Jal and in my relationship with Allah and I think I'm doing very fine. Back around. Terrible things some of us do in our relationship with Allah in our relationship with the creatures of Allah and think nothing's wrong with that. Of the consequences of the practical consequences of the run wal billah and thus, my dear brothers and sisters, we implore Allah Azza wa Jal to help us understand His words, to help us internalize His words, to give us the strength to actualize His words, and that we do our best not to fall in sin, and if we fall, may He grant us immediately, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the resolute power of repentance to Him, Azza wa Jal, and admitting to Allah and to the creatures of Allah if we wronged, that we wronged them and we ask them to forgive us and we make a promise never to return to that again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. So that was less than 10 minutes. It was 9 minutes. <laughs> Allah.